Hey, when it comes to putting my sling on, I don't screw around. I have gotten fragile, so my right hip really hurts. So when I have the nurses put it on, I make sure to participate 120%, let's say. All right, I'm going to sit forward. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. There came down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sit forward, and I have them lifted up. Oh, wait, show them the sling that we're using. This is the type of sling that I use. It goes with my, it came with my Waverly Glen uh, ceiling lift, but I will have them drop it down behind me and take the piece that like goes around your butt. I have them tuck it only to the cushion and then I'll have them bring the leg pieces around the side. Hold on, she's going to be in the way for a minute. It'll be okay. But I take my nurses with when I go to the doctor's office because I know that, you know, they're pressed for time. All right, hold on. I'm going to turn. But for this, now I'll have them pull it tight. And, all right, this butt cheek of mine is uh, smaller than the other. So I always make sure that this side is a little bit longer. Now, when she goes behind me, I will, hold on, I'm going to get the center, I guess, shall we say. I'm going to, I lean forward and I lift up my left butt cheek so they can tuck it under my butt bone. And then I'll do the same with the right. And I can feel my butt bones, so I can, I'll can i tell them if it's not under. Because if the sling isn't under my butt bones, when it goes to lift me, it doesn't lift me evenly. And it ends up like spreading my legs from my back, and it ends up hurting really bad. So I'm going to tilt back. Once they got it under my butt bones, I will have them pull it straight forward, like two inches. Because then it, there you go. Because then it ends up finishing itself. And the same thing with this side. And then... uh. You can unbuckle me. I'm going to put on my, um, it's called a comfort companion, I think. I call it a foot box. But yeah, and then I'll have them pull it through in the center. Press into the cushion and pull it through another inch. Because then it's really around my butt bone. And then you can, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to move to make sure you guys see. Yeah, I got my comfort companion uh, a couple years ago. It's really nice, so when I take off my shoes, you know, I used to use a pillow, but my ankles would tip out. I'm going to get lifted in a second here, and I'll show you how nice it contours my body. You get to scope out my butt just for a minute. When I go to get lifted though, the sun kind of will be in the way, so I apologize. But I'm not editing the videos. You're getting me in the raw one way or another. I need a drink though first. Can I have my thermos, please? All right, I'm gonna lift so you guys can kind of see how it scoops around me. You would probably have to turn the camera too, huh? My neighbor's mowing his yard still, so... And you can leave that back and leave me down. Or not. Nope, just turn that just a little. on the bottom. You can use the top. We use that for the shower. I have a different sling for that one too. But when I lift, I'll show you around my butt cheeks. Right. Yeah, it's funny when I bring my nurses in. Uh, oh yeah, now hold on. Once we get it tight, go ahead and tighten it up. So I don't get lifted like I'm wearing a G-string. All right, go ahead, Tana. We pull it one hand each side under the thigh, and we pull it towards the knee. This is the correct way to put this thing on. I have my turn. Ooh. Okay. Great. Yep. And I always gotta watch the extra straps too, because they tend to get hooked on things. 
as I get lifted too, you see how she's pulling my feet out? My feet will get snagged underneath my uh, underneath my seat. And you see how it kind of it comes to my buckle on both sides. I think this one's a little bit off, but oh no, it's got me because my butt bones are like back here. You know, like I said, if I do it, if it gets done wrong, then I'm in a lot of pain. So I always tell the nurses, you know, let me tell you, you know, where it's good so that it doesn't hurt. You know, and then it's not them that hurt me, it's me that hurts me. But, um, yeah. So, I guess until next time. Bye. Okay, I'm press stop. You can actually just turn the power off. And you don't have to push record. So you ain't got to move the camera or anything.